Hey everybody, Dr. Red here, and we are back with more Zero Time Dilemma. Left off doing some shit on the flowchart, in this case, um, this one's not going to lead us to anywhere important. This is us getting the antidote r correct and wrong here. So we're just going to blitz on through this one. It's the one where we have to lick a thing, see how it tasted, and then whatever one's tongue, something, 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 something. We're just going to smash this button with this, and we're just going to hammer on the B. Next, as what about... Hold on, let's see what's happening here. I, I, I think this one changes each time you do it. <laughs> so, all three of us? All three of us. That means... That means... The answer... <gasps> Tane, which one did we all three have? Was that method the answer... I licked samples E, F, e, F G, and H. Junpei had C, D, G... H. Three of it's H. So, just... Anything but H. I feel wrong... I feel bad getting this one done, though. It's H. I feel like I have to do H. I'm doing A because we have to die to get the other ending. But you know, this just makes Carlos look like a dumbass jock. Are you sure it's A? Yep. Yeah. Why? That doesn't make sense. I don't know. Just do it, bro. Oh, why are there six? Uh, zero said uh, that we'd need a hundred cc's of the antidote. Yeah, we still don't know what the extras uh, are for yet. Doesn't that mean that each of those are fifty cc's? No, I'm pretty sure these are 100 cc. Uh, so, uh, there are three left over. Uh, uh, whatever. We got it right. Nope. Uh, didn't we, Carlos? Not in the least bit. Yeah, I'm positive. <laughs> June? Bay? Uh, hang on. Akane. On that note, it did change Hurry, every time if we all have felt yeah, it on our tongue. So. I know. We need to take it too. Right. Okay, down the hatch. No one knows how to drink quietly. Well, rip again, everybody. Well, for the first time here. I'm sorry, you guys. I couldn't figure out. It was Damn H. You. Carlos. You shouldn't trust me. I'm just a fireman. See, I didn't think we would learn anything from that, if we're, we're going to be honest here. Is this going to be the game over screen? Now? There we go. So we're going to pretend like that one never happened, even though that's just us being a little bit more thorough there, even though it unlocked something for D-Team, oddly enough. Which means we can go back to the flow here, jump on down. What are our choices here? Who killed Junpei? Carlos's decision? I don't remember what that one was about at the moment, so we are going to just skip it for now. Let's see, gun versus incinerator. The three, the three that That one has an ending that we is locked as well. Weird. That's what the dying one? Weird. Okay, okay. So three dice. This is the one where we all had to roll ones or something stupid like that. I'm not sure how you game this one, but uh, everything's coming so. out. Game here. Roll three ones what? or whatever it is. Come on. Let's just let him roll, guys. Oh, God damn it! I can't and die here. There's still <sighs> ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's roll the dice so we don't get gunned down by the knights. Shit. Well, that went well for us, right? You know. I really hope I don't have to do this up until the point where it just does it on its own, where it realizes these odds are stupid wait, and wait, against wait, you. Wait. Yeah. Numbers. Yeah, we all get gunned down to a nice paste behind the desk. His engagement ring lying on the ground. Game over. I'm really hoping that'll just be something again that we'll just hop on over there. It'll say, okay, you've tried it a couple times. So let's hope that is the case. Here we are. We're back to rolling the dice again. Okay, I guess you just had to do it a couple more times. 
Look at us go, everybody. We we live to see another day. Huh? No way. Yeah, way. Oh yes, yes, hell yeah! We're alive. We're actually alive. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> they are understa understandably surprised here. <laughs> hey, why are the two of you just standing there? Guys, it's 1 216. <laughs> we just got a miracle. Actually, you got me trying this three uh, times. Yeah. You're, you're right. I just can't believe it. We're alive, right? Isn't it one in 216 <laughs> chance to get alive. any combination of those, <laughs> what, maybe? Do, do I look like a ghost Probably not, ignore me. An undead zombie? <laughs> if I was, then my heart wouldn't be pounding a mile a yeah, minute Yeah, I guess there's right only now. one way to get a three with <laughs> Come on, three dice. Let's okay, okay. this popsicle stand. We definitely gotta have a toast back in the lounge. I like happy Junpei, though. <laughs> Come on! What are you doing? Hurry up! I don't think I've seen Junpei this excited since grade school. Yeah, it's nice. I like I Happy Junpei. He's still the same guy you knew underneath, huh? That's good. Mm. I like Happy Junpei. I'm really glad. Happy Junpei. That we're alive or both? Both. Yeah, I <laughs> got it. That's a happy ending. Less so than me having to make Carlos pick the wrong one. <laughs> Nothing beats a cold one after surviving a close call. <laughs> Come on! You guys should join me. Sorry. I'll pass. I'm really not in the mood for it. <laughs> for real? Are you serious? I mean, I'd be like hey, shitting my pants, but you know. Are you already drunk? That was one beer. Yeah, I am! <laughs> drunk on life! Okay, now I'm a little bit annoyed I with Happy Jean Pay. on this kick ass feeling of surviving the impossible! Hmm. You probably shouldn't drink too much, Junpei. We're about to get dealt with a <laughs> bunch not? of drugs. We're just going to conk out again in 40 minutes anyway, remember? We just experienced the miracle of hitting 1 216th odds. 0.46%, guys! Come on! Well, that's the case. I wonder what the high of feeling <laughs> like winning the lottery is like. We have you know. To savor this awesome moment. I'm good, Junpei. Hmm. A miracle, huh? It definitely would be if it happened on the first try. Guys, what are you saying? We only threw the dice once, right? Are you sure about that? Maybe we just don't remember. And May in reality, we've rolled the dice over and over again. Huh? If we threw them three times, the probability would be 72 to 1. Which we did. I wouldn't really call those odds a miracle. Oh, so what? Does that really matter? <laughs> I'll say it again. We've only gone and thrown the dice once. So those ones must be an anagram once. up too in the top right. <laughs> right, Carlos? The game will tell me later, I hope. Yeah, that's true. What are you trying to say, Akane? Carlos. Let's say you were going to roll 10 dice all at the same time. So, do you think you'd end up with all of them displaying a one? Of course not. It's impossible. Right. The probability is 60,466,176 to one, but that's essentially impossible. If you tried 60 These people are great at pulling numbers out of their assholes. 76 times, however, what would happen? The likelihood of all of them being one is not so much of an impossibility, right? I'll give you another example. Junpei, if 2 to the 4th power, 16 people compete in a rock paper scissors tournament, how many matches are needed before a winner can be determined? Uh... Why are you talking about... Just answer the question. I don't know. Uh, really? Uh, okay. Uh, first, the 16 narrow down to 8. Then 8 to 4 and yeah. 4 to 2. 
after the final round, uh, one person's left standing, so... Uh, a, a total of four. One, two, three, so, yeah. what would happen if two to the 100 did the same thing? Hmm. It'd be a hundred. And how confident do you feel about winning this tournament, Junpei? I'm not, obviously. You're out of the competition after you lose just one match. <sighs> You'd have to win a hundred rounds straight to win. But... Someone will do it and win, right? Yeah. A victor who wins a hundred matches without losing one will exist. Do you know what I'm trying to say? The person who won, won. But only because of circumstance. I mean, more or less. Well, duh. But why are you... It may be obvious, but it's important. The one who lives on does so due to circumstance. Okay. The Anthropic Principle. Oh, you've heard of it. Yeah, it's connected to the many worlds and multiverse theories. The hell are you? Thank you, Junpei. This I'm glad they have a little, you know, is a little you know, too what's well going on suited like this. for human beings. That principle explains why. They say, for example, that if Jupiter was just a bit smaller, the Earth likely wouldn't have even formed. That's not the only instance, either. There are physical constants throughout the universe. But if even one had changed the tiniest bit, humanity wouldn't have been created at all. Mm. But hmm. anyone can see we do actually exist. And that's exactly my point. We exist. Therefore, we know that we exist. Perhaps somewhere in reality, there are countless universes devoid of humanity where the idea of humans didn't even begin. I mean, that's possible, possible, I guess, right? But it isn't possible to know if those other universes exist or not. Yeah. That's because there are no human beings to observe within them. The only universe we can measure is our own. Therefore, this is the universe we exist in. Wait, are, are you talking about tautology one plus one equals two is a form of tautology also i thought right? that was just math the left and right sides of the equation say the same thing that's sophistry are you sure anyway i get what you're trying to say akane maybe somewhere in this world there are an infinite number of histories where we were executed by the gatling guns there was at least two no if those histories really exist, basically, uh, because we're dead in those histories, the dead can't observe the world. Only those who are still alive can do that. Therefore, we exist here, now. Uh-huh. The opposite of what I just explained could be true as well. The universe could be not meant for humanity. Maybe there's one not limited by gravity, where they travel faster than light. You can't say for sure such a universe doesn't exist. If it does, then we could expect that aliens would be interacting together within it. Okay, now that sounds like fun. Maybe that was the universe... God had intended in the first place. Okay. And this one is a failure. Let's not overthink like this thing so right now. We exist I'm going to have an existential crisis. Huh? What's the matter? Ah, uh, you guys talking like this. I I don't feel like drinking anymore. Kind of getting the feeling I was an idiot for acting like we won the lottery. I mean, don't you agree? That was there kind of a buzz killing a history you know. somewhere out there that's happier than ours right now. Probably. And maybe it's really true. We might be in the history God abandoned. That's fucked up. Oh man, it's still going. Now announcing the current casualties. Who's all dead? Q team. Q. Q team's dead. Era. Just fi on that side. Five are now deceased. As a result, five X passes will be revealed. 
I kill fool moon fate. Okay. That is all. There's no. I don't remember most of these. That means only Phi is still alive. Sorry. Uh, forget what I just said. Huh. Seems like we're the ones with the best luck. God hasn't gone and abandoned us. What do you mean? <laughs> Didn't you hear that announcement? Five X passes were released. The only one left to die is Phi from D Team, and then we. That was a smack. There you go. She kind of had that coming. Don't you ever say that, even if it's a joke. Yeah, it was a bit fucked up. Hmm. I think we can squeeze one more in, right? It goes over here. That one's locked, and that was anthropic principle. Oh God. Yeah, we're not touching that one again. That was a that was a goddamn mouthful and a half what they were spewing out there. Jesus Christ. Let's see. Um. Is that it for C team? No, no, no. I guess we still got the. We got the kill button. Okay, okay. We got time to do that one. That one's pretty pretty straightforward. We smash B, everyone gets acid rained on, and then we're good to go. Oh. Easy peasy. What? Ah, damn it, don't do it, Carlos. I'm trying. Hit the button. Hitting the button. We're hitting that button so hard. Everyone's going to get acided on, and we're going to feel bad and talk it out a bit. Probably talk it out a lot, let's be honest here. Carlos, why? No, no, Akane. <sighs> hey, um, you did good, Carlos. Junpei? You dedicated your life to saving people, so this is probably hard for you. But what you did is... Stop, stop! Carlos! It wasn't me! Someone took my hand and... Uh, you're not going to say the devil made you do it. No, it was me. I Are smashed you? the button really hard. Made me? Uh, maybe it's stress, or you've always had that urge buried deep down inside. Junpei. Blamed your bad judgment calls on something controlling you. Junpei. Uh, it, it's just part of being human. Uh, life experiences. You made a wise decision. You sacrificed the lives of others in order to continue your own survival. Zero. It truly is a natural human reaction. You simply made an emergency evacuation. The action is legally justifiable. There is no blame to be placed on you for your decision. Thanks. Now, I'm sure you would like to get out of here immediately. But before that, I apologize. But you must all sleep again. But why? Uh, it is 1929. Time for good kids to be in bed or the something. Seventh, yeah, sounds like a bad time. Exactly as I commanded. The memory loss drug will not be injected into the three of you. It would be inconvenient if you forgot you caused the deaths of others. That's one they way to put that. Killed all of them. Pleasant dreams. Rip. Well, shit, right? Hmm. Does that mean we go with the flow again? No, no, no. Everything's all blocked off until we do a thing somewhere. I don't remember how we got there last time. Team select. Uh, nope. We go here. Fragment select. C team. This thingy. I still have no idea what this fragment flow chart is, but... Eh. Oh, sorry guys. They're gonna have a this very acidy time. The decontamination room. Decontamination. We have some sick deja vu going right now for y'all. Huh. This is weird. 
Weird. I feel like I've been trapped in this room before. You must be imagining things. I guess. This button. <sighs> I have a bad feeling about this. Yeah, something isn't right. Maybe we've forgotten about this place. Mm. The drugs and the bracelets? Maybe. What? Yeah, so fucking crazy, Eric. Fuck you. again. Mm. Now we're going to see some nice fleshy red pulps on the ground. There they are. And then, um, and then uh, we're not going to be too content. Everyone's going to wake up here. Hopefully we can save the puppy. Oh, I don't want them to abandon Gab again. Oh, this is where we learn to Zamra and let the game end where I treat two. Casualties. Q team. Q. Mira. Eric. D team. Diana. Bye. Sigma. These six are now oh, deceased. Man. As a result, six X passes will be revealed. Self. Rip. These are different every time. Bird. Twin. Old. That is all. That's right. I. I totally just wrote those down as quick as I could there. There we go. Wow, uh, that was fast. Huh. We put these passwords in and we can reach the surface. Gotta make sure we got a dog. The other teams. Uh, it's not your fault. Carlos. I've been busting my ass for the past 10 years. I wanted to save as many lives as I could. You probably balanced out far and far ahead. Leucochloridium. Or Spinocordodes teleniae. Have you heard of either of these, Carlos? No. Uh, why are you suddenly... They inhabit and control the actions of creatures larger than them. Parasites. Are you suggesting we were controlled by whatever that was you said? Not we, just you. Leucochloridium are snail parasites. Praying mantises and grasshoppers get Spinocordodes teleniae. So they don't attach to humans. Correct. I've heard of one, however. Toxoplasma gondii. Is that the cat thing? Toxoplasma gondii? Rats with toxoplasmosis no, no longer maybe? fear their predator, the cat. Yes. And are in fact drawn to the smell of their urine. The rats are attracted to cats? For humans infected with toxoplasma gondii, changes in actions and personality have been reported. You become a risk taker, your reactions slow, or you become extremely sensitive. Are you saying Carlos? pushed that button because of something like that? I don't know. But it's more realistic than saying you were possessed by a devil. No, it's because I hit the A button. A human controlling parasite. Huh. We're not forgetting Gab. Good little doggo. Are you guys ready? Yes. No problems here. All right. Then let's put in the passwords. Yeah, let's type in these big boys. And there we go. Everything's entered, and we are good to blow this popsicle stand. I mean, it's so it's a one ending for them, right? Everyone's gonna be okay. Unless... 
It opened. Carlos has a breakdown and doesn't leave. Let's hurry. The door will close right away. What? Hey, what? What are you standing around for? Carlos? I... I can't leave with you guys. What? Huh? What? I made a promise in another history that I'd definitely save you two. Another history? What nonsense are you babbling about? Come on, hurry up! Later, guys. Carlos! 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 Hmm. They better have taken the dog. Just hang on. I'm going to go save you now. I'm a little bit confused with what the shit's going on over there. Like, uh, like a lot confused, if we're, if we're being honest now. But that's the end of this episode. Uh, thank you so much for watching. As per usual, leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe if you want to hear more of my sweet, sultry boys. But for now, I am Dr. Ritt, and I'll catch y'all next time. Bye for now, everybody.